so our first mission for the day was to go and hook the sky spearfish and vessel up once we got that we held on to the site we were going to be diving which was some wrecks hopefully the sky bridge and maybe a couple of other spots which arian had up his sleeve i couldn't wait unfortunately the weather was absolutely miserable it was rainy it was windy and it was just horrible but once you're in a wetsuit you're gonna get wet anyway what does it matter it took me a little while to get ready as well it's blowing a hoodie we don't know if we're gonna get the join up but hopefully there's gaps so we can um there's uh, not a lot of room in the boat we're gonna go chase a big fish and some scallops and also we have a look at a wreck as well so come out with us and we'll show you what we're gonna do Find out. Let's go. It's just showing you. Not ready yet. So yeah, you're probably guessing by now that we've not had much practice with the pole spear. However, we had a lot of fun using it and I'm still on the A game that I want to shoot a fish with this at some point. Hopefully a nice big one as well. But at this moment in time, we're seeing loads of fish and we don't want to scare them all off having a bit of fun with this pole spear. So we're going to go back to the thing we know and get the big guns out. We get the big guns out, we start hunting a bit of the deeper waters around the seabed and where the wreck comes down onto it. You can see Arian here, he's stopping and he's sneaking up on top of the wreck as we've seen a few big pollock cruise around the top, not, nowhere near the bottom. They're up there, they're feeding, they're hunting and we're trying to hunt them from below and surprise them. I end up targeting a couple of pollock sitting out in the midwater section as I'm sitting on top of this wreck here. However, I feel a bit of a tug on my fin. I look round and there is Arian. He's pointing at a pollock that almost came and nibbled me on the shoulder and I managed to get a good shot off.
after bagging the first fish for the day it was time and also we couldn't help ourselves it was time to go explore the wreck we seen the big dark tunnels and the holes and we wanted to get down in them and find out what was there and we found more darkness and darker darkness and unfortunately no monsters however it was pretty sick diving After having a good play about in the wreck and looking some crevices for any monsters which we ended up not finding, we decided to head to one of the sides and do a nice decent drop together. It was sitting around 12 to 15 meters. We done a nice breathe up and we headed down. It was pretty cool swimming down the whole face of this boat. It was almost just like a big wall. We got right to the bottom, we tucked ourselves right into the wreck as well. Fish were swimming pretty much everywhere. However, I seen a glimmer of a nice big bronze bar close to Arian. Whether he was going to pull the trigger or not was a different matter. And then it didn't take long before I heard a clunk and the reel going off. After Arian stoning that big monster, I have to say I was down there a fair amount of time looking for one myself. Unfortunately, again and again, I was down there and I wasn't seeing the size of fish I wanted to shoot. There were so many decent sized Pollock that you would never think twice about shooting again. However, I ended up doing one last dive and I was sitting just on top of the wreck and I seen one right in the distance, pulled the trigger. It was a fairly long shot but I managed to get through. 
I came up to surface and it was still on the spear thankfully and it was a decent sized fish and I was very happy with it. However we thought we'd better go change spots and we're going to go look for some scallops just before maybe the weather turns and so it doesn't end up getting dark whilst we're still on the wreck. Uh, plus there's plenty more out there. fatal mistake of mentioning that I've not had a raw scallop before. First for everything. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, all I said was, I'm hungry, we could eat scallops, and now we're eating scallops. So, obviously, when you have a scallop more, you don't roar, I can't say roar, right? Right, when you have a scallop, we're cooking it, you don't eat the roe. So it's just the white wheat, like that there. We're gonna cut that in half, and then we're gonna cut that into half again. So Josh has never had a scallop before. There you go. There's your piece. My piece. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, tell me that's not half bad. Come on, tell me you're pleasantly surprised with it. I mean, I can't take shit as a bit. After filling my face full of scallop and reaping the rewards with the energy that came from it, we headed off to the final spot and that was under the sky bridge. First thing I said to Arian when I came to sky and because I drove over the bridge as well I was like I want to get in the water there and thankfully he brought me all the way to this area and we had amazing diving mm -hmm. on the wreck, amazing scallop diving and we got to finish it finish it off under the bridge so he whizzed all the way up there and we dived in first of all the tide was ripping through the bridge and we couldn't really dive in it we tucked ourselves in under the legs but it was moving too quickly and we weren't finding the fish anyway so we dropped back to some nice rocky ledges and the fish were there there was some nice big decent pollock you wouldn't think twice about pulling the trigger off at these fish however I wanted something big. I couldn't let Arian have the joy of having the biggest fish of the day, so I was going to give everything I got because it's been a long day diving to get another big fish in the boat. I took the second dive and I stayed at the bottom a fair amount of time and the fish just came in. They were all around me and thankfully I seen a big boy in the distance and he came in. He came all the way up and he almost nibbled on the end of the spear and I was not going to miss this shot. I was like, if this is going to be my last of the day, dive of the day, so be it. So I pulled the trigger and he went off. He was a big boy, straight in the kelp. 
Thankfully I managed to pull him out without pulling the spear out or anything like that and I got him to the surface and boy I was happy. The weather has turned even more miserable. Uh, we ended up slaying up some of the big pollock. Area got a massive one. Well, I'd say around eight, nine pounds, maybe more. It'll be um, ten by the time we get home. Yeah, ten by the time we get home. <laughs> and I shot a couple of uh, nice big ones as well. It was awesome diving under the sky bridge. But I'm afraid that's just over and out because we're fish wet and we've been diving all day. We forgot that time. Um, Oh, a nice little bag of scallops as well as a lightener. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Like we've enjoyed it, we've absolutely smashed it. And hopefully there's more to come soon as well.